Hi guys, this is Crafty Cat. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. We are here with a brand new Amazon unboxing. I'm very excited for this. I ordered some things for Inktober, which is coming up. And um, I've got a lot of camp videos queued up for you guys. Well, not queued up yet. I'm still editing them. But I've got a lot that I recorded already. But I'm going to be interrupting some of them with some Amazon unboxings and one other unboxing. And this is one of them. This is a set of Micron Fine Line um, pens, fine liners. This is made of archival ink, and these are supposed to be waterproof, hopefully, which means I could use them with watercolor as well as just inking. So it says, the original Pigma ink pen, the go-to tool for artwork and play, giving you the freedom to think and create. Professional quality, ideal for fine detail in sketching, drawing, and illustration. Archival ink, waterproof, chemical and fade resistant, bleed free, quick drying, and pH neutral. So what more could you want in a pen? And I got the set of different colors. I already have a set similar to this of just black pens that I bought about two years ago, and I love them, and I use them all the time. So I thought, you know what? This time I want some color. So there's one black, and there's a brown, a blue, a green, a red, purple, pink, and like a light brown. So... These were on sale on Amazon.ca for $16.04. And unfortunately today, the day that they were delivered, they're up to $19.99. So um, if you're looking, I would suggest you look at around 3 o'clock in the morning because that's when I order all the time. And the prices tend to go down. And if the prices are high one day, just wait a couple days and they usually change. So for $16.04, I've got this nice set of eight pens. And, um, yeah, I like that I get a black one and a and all the rest are colored. And, um, it says it's zero one point size. So I'm not sure what that means. Let's see. I'm sorry. I'm sucking on a hauls because I've had to do my intro four or five times right now because I keep having coughing fits. I'm really sick right now, you guys. I know I probably don't sound that bad because I'm all drugged up I'm on prednisone and I'm on all kinds of asthma meds but um I've been drinking chicken soup and everything so I apologize if you could hear me sucking on my candy it's the only way I can record videos so let's just open these up and see what we're getting does it say the size on here maybe it will say it on the pan I don't know yeah it says 0.25 millimeters size zero one whatever that means i don't think they're standardized so let's pull one out this is just an unboxing you guys but i will grab my paper and we'll take a look i just want to show you how small that little pen tip is can you see that super fine so here's where i was testing some other pens that i got they were fountain pens let's just draw a line here and um you can see these are much smaller. I'll do the black next to the black. And you can see the line is much thinner. So these are fine liners. And they're really nice. So that's the black one. And when you take a look at the pen, it looks really nice. So it says Micron 1 right on it. It says archival ink. It's got this little symbol. It has the color on the back. They look like really nice pens. And like I said, I have a few of these in the black that I use all the time. And I really like them. And I've been wanting to get another set because mine are running out. So let's take a look at some of the other colors. So the colors are labeled right on the top. So you can see all the colors. And also on the bottom. And these seem like really nice pens to me. Like, I do know I like the black ones. Um, I was eager to try the browns. Because I always, I bought some brown pens at Staples separately. Because I like the brown line sometimes better than the black line. When I'm doing watercolor pen and ink. So let's just scribble. That's the dark brown. Can you see the difference next to the black if I underline? It's not noticeable by itself, but when you put it right next to the black, it is. And I really like the way these pens look. They look so nice. Here's the lighter brown. 
So these were the three colors I was most interested in. And I'll underline again here. So you can see how much lighter that is. It's almost like an orangey brown. I like that a lot. So I think these are the three colors I would use the most when I'm doing watercolor line and ink. But because October is Inktober, I will be using all these. So I will do a review of these pens once I use them a bit. Um, I'll do videos of them. But for now, let's just take a look at some of the colors. So there's the blue. These are very, I really like these pens. I, I like them a lot. And here's the green. And the green in my other set didn't work. But I'm hoping it will after it hangs upside down for a while. Oh, that's really pretty. That is a nice color green. So they can, the green will be nice for making trees and leaves and things like that. I don't know. I haven't drawn with pens since I was a kid. I usually draw with pencil and then for my watercolor, I will watercolor and then I'll outline in, in black ink or brown ink usually. Here's some pink. And you can see how it differs from the pink up here. The other pink. This is a darker, like more of a rose pink. Almost purpley. And then we have purple. That's pretty. And let's see what it looks like next to this purple up here. I don't see any difference. To me, that's the same color. It's just this is a thinner ink. It's a thinner tip. So, you know, I was really excited about trying to do Inktober. I did World Watercolor Month where I did 31 paintings in 31 days in July. So um, I'm really excited about doing Inktober, but I looked at the prompts and the prompts, they're not that good. Here's the red. And let's see how it looks different from this red. It's a lighter red. It's a different red. But yeah, um, that's the pens. I'm really happy with them. And you get a little... Um, you get a little pamphlet, I think, showing the colors. Or No, it's just a little... It's just a little ad. It's just the cover unfortunately and I wish this came with like a case where you could just keep them in but it doesn't and that's okay because I ordered a case and um the case should be in pretty soon so the case that I ordered comes with pencils in it but I'm going to take the pencils out and just put the pens and everything that I want to use for Inktober in there but anyway that is it for the Micron Ink Pens I already told you the price. It's 1940, it's 1940 now. It went down a little bit. It was like 1999 a minute ago. But I paid like 16 something for it. What did I pay? I already told you and I've forgotten. $16.04 is what I paid for this. Which I thought was really great. So I'm really looking forward to Inktober and hopefully I can get some things done. I just don't know if I'm going to follow the prompts. The prompts are very travel themed. I would rather something more Halloween-y, October-y theme, like fall. But I guess people who do it every year are getting sick of that kind of thing. I don't know. So I might just kind of do my own thing and just try to draw as much as I can in October and call it Inktober and, and do it in ink. But yeah, I'm excited. Anyway, I hope you like that. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button, the subscribe, the notification bell. All of those good things that um, really help me as a channel. And like I said, this was just an unboxing. I just did this so we could check out the colors together. I will do a review of these once I have some practice with them. It's not fair to do it just when you're first opening a product if you've not really used it before. Although I can vouch for the black ones. They're awesome. Anyway, thank you, you guys. I hope you have a great day, whatever you're doing. Take care, stay safe, and happy crafting. Bye.